Right now, civil, a civil society organization wants the president to create an oversight committee to assess permits granted by the Department of Mineral Resources and its agencies. Uh, we are South Africans, says all legislative uh, amendments which took place under the DMR and the Department of Fisheries and Environmental Affairs should be suspended. It also wants a moratorium on rights, including for mining, oil and gas exploration granted under Minister Gwede Mandashe and Barbara Creasy. The Green Connection strategic lead, Liz McDade, speaks to us now uh, very quickly about this issue. Uh, just tell me very quickly, Liz, what it is uh, that you are that you have a, an issue an issue with rather particularly with these rights and permits uh, handed out by government so the green connection um, is is not part of the we are South Africans we're all different parts of civil society but mm -hmm. I think the general call is for a moratorium on all of this offshore oil and gas and the problem there's there's two very quickly two problems one is Climate change means we can't have more oil and gas. We've seen the more increasing floods and disasters in the Eastern Cape over the summer. And that's, in our view, very closely linked to climate change and the, and the weather changing. So we, we need to change. We need to move away from fossils. Seismic surveys are all connected with the precursor to oil and gas. Therefore, we need to call for a moratorium. These are permits that were put in place given out a few, you know, up to five, seven years ago and are just being rolled over and renewed. That must stop. And then I think there's also a, a lot of stuff that's happening that it doesn't really help the livelihoods of the fishers along the coast. And that's our, our critical issue is there are thousands of people whose livelihoods are dependent on a healthy ocean. And things like coastal mining, oil and gas, um, seismic surveys and things like dumping of toxic waste, for example, as well at sea, are problematic. So we certainly are backing a civil society call for a moratorium on any more oil and gas. And we think as a, as a country, we need to say enough. We've had the shell case on the East Coast. There are many other permits where, which have just been um, given where we are going to see uh, additional seismic surveys carrying on. And what we need to do is say, stop this. How do we transition faster to a renewable future that is going to ensure that the livelihoods of people who depend on the coast are protected? Mm. And Liz, uh, talking about that particular case in terms of the East Coast and Shell, that interdict that was, uh, you know, granted by the High Court, uh, you know, uh, in, in terms of the seismic survey that uh, Shell wanted to do in the East Coast, do you think that this perhaps is uh, some, a case that might probably also assist in taking government to court for all these permits that they give for such events to take place? I think that, that interdict, successful interdict against Shell is a, is a very good marker in the past. It's, it's, a, it's a sign which says, because the judge found that there was a reasonable uh, um, associate, there would be irreparable harm. And that irreparable harm would mean that all of those guys along the, the, the East Coast would not be, you know, their livelihoods could be undermined. So it's the same on the West Coast. And, and rather, what's happening is we're having to tackle these things one by one all around the coast. So, so it's enough now. We need to stop and actually uh, say that's old style stuff. We're now moving into the modern world. We're having, you know, solar panels for, for, for water pumps. Uh, we've got all sorts of other um, renewable energy, big renewable energy plants that are, are running um, industrial um, complexes. So, so we are moving. Technology is moving. South Africa must get with the program. And part of it is actually stopping the search for oil and gas. We think it's not necessary into the future.